Hey, my name is Andrew. I'm a project manager from McQueen Building Company. Today, you're gonna get an inside look of what a day in my life looks like. We're on the first day of a project here. We're doing the demolition, and I'm gonna show you a little bit about that. And then from here, I'm gonna take you to a couple different projects at various different stages to show you what it is to work as a project manager from McQueen Building Company. Good morning, Cody. Good morning. So today, what we're doing is we need to expose all the framing, so we need to take all this stuff off the ceiling and the walls, and take the ceiling fan down and all this old carpet. Eventually, we're gonna get to the outside and we're gonna take all the siding off. All right, so we're good. Hey, are you still at Home Depot? Turn around and get a bunch of, like, two cans of ant spray. There's water damage all over this place. And I was worried about that. Let's see what we can do. I gotta pull some stuff out of this gutter, so I don't wanna get it on you. We're all wrapped up here at this project. Uh, Cody has everything under control. This is a small one that'll probably only take us a couple weeks. Next, we're gonna head a little bit north to Mount Lebanon in a job that is under the framing stage right now. I'll see you there. A typical day for me involves usually making it to each one of my job sites if that's possible and just making sure that everybody is moving in the direction that they need to. While I'm managing the people, I also have to have a big management on the uh, material side of things. With almost every construction project, nothing ever goes according to plan, but it's my job to kind of foresee these issues and make sure that everything runs smoothly. We're here in Mount Lebanon at our second stop of the day. This job is in the framing phase right now. We've been here a couple weeks and this one's a little bit bigger of a project than where we were just at. I'll show you it. Mike, how are you? I'm good, buddy, how are you? So this is Mike, he's one of our foremen. Uh, he's here taking care of the framing stage of this project. He's gonna tell us a little bit about the work he's done so far. There was a wall here with an LVL that we supported on both sides. We took that wall out and we put in 12 LBLs, and then we ordered this steel beam that was cut the length, it's about a thousand pounds. We craned it up right here to support these other LBLs that we put in here, and we also took this wall out. So this is a pretty common thing that we do on these projects. People wanna open up their spaces, so as you can see, there used to be walls, those right here, and now it basically doubled the size of their kitchen and just give them a lot more living space in here. Okay, Mike, well, looks like you got everything handled in here. So uh, I'm gonna leave for the day, and if you need anything, give me a call. So the biggest part of my job is management, and not only do I manage our hand-picked team of employees, but I also manage a lot of different subcontractors. Throughout the day, I'm usually on the phone with a number of these subcontractors, and right now I have to make a phone call to one of them to make sure that we're on schedule. Hello. Corey, how are you? I'm doing all right, Andrew, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Hey, uh, I was just making sure that we're on schedule to uh, do that painting in Upper St. Clair at the end of the month. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and uh, just to be clear, we're going to do the ceilings in flat white, right? Yep, yep. Okay. Hey, you're the best painter in Pittsburgh. I'm glad to have you, Corey. <laughs> Thank you very much, Andrew. I think you're probably the best carpenter I know, too. Thanks, Corey. All right. I'll have, have a nice day, buddy. Hey, my man. Thanks for calling. You have a great day as well. See ya. Wrapping up here at this job in Mount Lebanon, and we're going to take you to the next one in Robinson. All the people that work for us, they really have a care as far as the finished product for the job, and like that speaks volume to the quality of our work. Um, and I think a lot of that comes from everybody feeling that they're appreciated at our company. They keep in mind that you know we're we're really giving a finished product that people are going to have in their homes for probably the rest of their lives. When we got here, this was a wide open basement. What they were really aiming for down here was like an area to entertain guests and an area to work out. So this right here is like their bar area. Eventually this is gonna get two backlit bookcases that are gonna hold wine glasses and different liquors and stuff like that with a backlit TV right here. This is their new gym area. Um, eventually this is gonna get a wall of mirrors right here and then there's gonna be a treadmill that goes here and then there's gonna be a squat rack and weights and everything just to allow these people who are very active to continue to work out. We put in another full bathroom down here. So this is gonna be a fully tiled shower with a custom niche. And then this is gonna get a custom floating vanity and then everything else that a bathroom will get. Probably the highlight of this, because no one else has this, would be this herringbone floor. 
So it's a very time consuming process, but the finished product looks awesome. So at McQueen Building Company, every single one of our projects has a detailed list of prints. And that is all handled by our pre-construction team. It's all detailed as far as like where light fixtures go, where specific walls go. And that's all determined before I even show up to the job. And then all of this information is on an app called Builder Trend that we use to manage each of our projects and our customers have access to seeing all of the different facets of the project on there as well. At the end of each day, we do a log of what was done that day and then we show progress pictures. And then on top of that, um, we show clients different uh, selections that they might have as far as fixtures or flooring or paint colors or anything like that. They're able to approve and assign things on Builder Trend. Frank, what are we putting in here? We are putting a fireplace in here. There you go. So this insert goes in here, yep. and then eventually we're gonna be putting tile over the front and on the sides, and then on this side right here. Well, this looks awesome. It does. Do you I'll like show you. it? I love it. So this will be the tile that goes on the fireplace here, and then that's the fireplace that's gonna sit right in here. You think of a, a traditional fireplace, like the hearth is usually like sitting here. Right. This job will probably be about 10 weeks long. So we're more than halfway done right now and we're aiming to be done in about three to four weeks from now. Nice. This about wraps up our stop out here in Robinson. We're about to head to our job in Upper St. Clair, but first we're gonna get some lunch. More often than not, uh, I'm also performing different stages of the work. Sometimes that there are things that are a little bit more complex, those are the things that I'll also fill in and do. There's also other times where our former customers, they'll have a small problem, maybe a, a floorboard cracked or they nicked a wall or after we finish their project and they'll give me a call and I'll come address the situation as best I can for them too because you know we try to take care of our customers as best as we possibly can. We're at our last stop of the day here on Englewood Drive in Upper St. Clair. I'm just stopping here on my way to the McQueen Building Company office to check on the progress of the job. Where I'm standing right now used to be one of the old master closets. There was a small shower right here and then kind of like a weird closet here. So we took a wall out right here and then we added this big master shower that's gonna get custom shower glass. Right here is actually gonna go a big freestanding bathtub. Um, and then this is gonna get big two foot by four foot tiles on the ground with a nice handmade tile inlay that goes right in front of here. The master bedroom only had one opening originally, so we actually added an opening right here that leads right into this real big giant opening for this master closet. This will get a closet system in here with most likely an island of cabinets for jewelry and ties and stuff like that. Our customer is going to pick out old doors from probably Construction Junction, which is a place here in Pittsburgh that salvages old uh, building materials and we're gonna repurpose them and use them as barn doors right here. Here at McQueen Building Company, we are in the business of giving people custom products in their home. So for instance, um, for these posts right here, the customer gave me a picture of the post that they wanted me and my talented team of Finnish carpenters, we made these caps and we made all these pieces to match exactly a picture that we were sent. And uh, that's like a regular daily basis thing for us. It's really important to me to make like a personal relationship with every customer because we're in people's personal homes every day. So, you know, we make it our utmost priority to, you know, stay as clean as we possibly can and minimize dust where we can and kind of alert people when there's gonna be noise and different things like that. So we're here at the McQueen Building Company office to end the day. On Mondays we have project manager meetings to go over all of our projects as a team. I want to thank you for spending the day with me. See you later.